All right, friends, so now that we have the animal drawn with its patterns, we are going to do the background. You're going to draw about five to six lines that go from your animal to the edge of your paper. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. Notice how I worked around the area. I didn't do my five lines in one spot. I did one in this side, then I worked over here and I worked my whole way around. So that's the key thing. We want to fill the space. So now what we made is different sections in our background. So here's one section up near the ears. Here's another section. And then there's one down here. So these are now going to be different patterns. So you're going to get some markers and you're going to start with your first section. Your patterns have to go around your cat. So any patterns you want. I'm going to start in this section and I'm going to stop when I get to that black line on both sides. So again, I'm going to stop and then I'm going to just keep going again. You can do whatever patterns you want. You do not have to copy mine. So I have that section done. Now I'm going to go into the next section and I want to make sure my lines don't go through my animal, that they go behind it. Okay, so I'm hitting another area some kind of pattern here all right and I have something right under the feet and then my last section here so all your sections should have a different pattern you can use whatever colors you want and you want to make sure that you're going behind your animal. We are now going to be using some crayons to color in our section. So each section has its own color. So here I'm going to outline the area first, outline these shapes around my cat. We're just outlining the outside of it instead of the inside. And then I'm going to fill in that entire section. Okay, now I'm going to get another color, do the same thing with this area, going around my animal. This is going to help us stay in the lines around these sections, and then filling in. Still remembering that I want to go in more than one direction. I want good craftsmanship. I want things to look neat. I'm going back and forth to fill up the areas and make it nice and vibrant like the artist. Okay, I'm going to finish these last three sections and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Alright friends, my background is all colored. Each section has its own color for the background and you are done.